Would it be safe to say also, if people brought studies forward and said, look, this could help your training, but it's not an absolute because there's so many variables, right? Whether it be mm -hmm. uh, advanced, uh, like how far in, into your training you are or how long you've been training or whatever, like all of these things are variables that you've described in the study. So if people are going to submit a study as evidence for something, they could say, look, this could help you in your training, but we're not saying it's the full blown evidence. That's that's probably most studies. Like most studies can maybe shift things in a direction. Right. Um, but the language I like to see when people communicate them is based on this, I would tend to think this. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and that's how scientists typically talk. Okay. Right. A, a new study will come up and show, well, this exercise is a little bit better than that exercise. Um, for example, the uh, seated calf raise wasn't as good as a standing calf raise in one of these recent papers. Sure. Um, and the difference in muscle growth would be pretty small. And and like I'll read it and I won't be compelled at all by that data. Another that's, person will read it and yeah. they'll be their mind will be blown. So, so that's what I want to ask you about because I think that's what people are doing. Second of all, are we really going to like? I guess what I'm trying to ask you, Samuel, is is the evidence compelling enough to even worry about like is it even anything worth or are people just really trying to dig for the sake of digging